Hi, it's Dr. Chad Morrow from HockeyOT.com. Today I'll take you through a couple of the workouts that I've created in my Week 5 program. And this is kind of the, the secret sauce for us, is how we formulate the, uh, the exercises and how we structure the training programs. I really feel like this is an important part of improving athletes' strength, power, flexibility, speed, the whole gamut. <clears throat> so let me show you how our in-season workouts are built. And like I said, this is kind of the inner workings of the of the program. <clears throat> if you're ever going to design your own programs, I hope that you would find this a really useful approach to designing your workouts. Here's a lower body strength in-season workout. <clears throat> Notice that we start with a sumo squat to hip raise. This is our flexibility warm-up. I like to do something before I get on an aerobic piece of equipment. A lot of times your in-season workouts are done in uh, a winter climate, so <clears throat> for a lot of us it's unlikely that we can get outside and do anything because a lot of times maybe we have snow on the ground or at the very least rain. Um, so <clears throat> we'll do some kind of flexibility warm-up pattern. I like sumo squat to hip raise when we start talking about lower body strength in season uh, just to get that flexibility pattern set. We go to a cardiovascular warm-up. A five minute warm up. This could be anything you want to do, uh, but I like to get the heart rate up a little bit. And this is basically get a light sweat going to get the blood flow going through the muscles. And it could be any piece of equipment that you like to use. It could even be a jog if you don't have an equipment to use, jump rope, anything. Med ball core blaster. I'll show this video because it's one of my favorite exercises. I mean, this is just an awesome exercise. It really kind of incorporates the hips, the trunk, and the shoulder. And I believe on this video we have Steve Steos. So it's one of my favorite exercises. You'll see it in every single workout. Medball Core Blaster is always there. It's the one. It's one of those things you can always count on. Uh, I just love the exercise. Then we go into a hip trunk shoulder warm up pattern. Uh, this is where it gets more complicated. This 3D, 3D med ball posterior arm sequence with posterior lunge. Sure, it's a complicated name, but we try to be descriptive as possible with the names that we use for the exercises. This is one of those exercises you have to watch the video. Uh, you just click the video icon to see. Um, you notice too, we have the we give you the sets, the reps. <clears throat> you know, we give you the formula on how you're supposed to use all this stuff. We give you a load based on the testing data that you've already inputted into your program. Then we'll get into some rotator cuff activation. I like doing balance work, so we try to incorporate balance with the rotator cuff activation patterns for the shoulder. We go into a ball leg curl, which is more of our hip trunk core activation pattern. Uh, you know, theoretically an easier exercise, but a nice way to incorporate the hamstrings, the glutes, the trunk. Get everything kind of firing on all cylinders before we get into some of our, our more aggressive exercises. Now we get into a med ball. I love med ball throws. <clears throat> med ball throws are in every workout. We have lots of different med ball ideas for exercises in your workouts. And this, red, this repetitive lunge side throw is a fantastic one. Um, med ball throws are just great for core activation and, and core power. Then we get into a bar warm up pattern. This there's some kind of bar warm up in every workout. We like to use bars, dumbbells, those types of things. So we want to get the bar in your hand so you get a feel for it. So you'll see those a lot. And then we get into uh, because it's lower body strength, we get into a deadlift pattern. Uh, we put this theoretically under our explosive type lift. Uh, I know th theoretically the deadlift isn't an explosive lift, but we, the way we try to do a deadlift is by really activating quickly up from the floor uh, as quick as you can move, even though for me it's a lot of weight, 290 pounds isn't easy for me. I'm doing five reps, but I'm trying to move that 295 pounds quickly up off the floor, and then when I get to the top, I'll drop it. So I, in my mind, I'm thinking explosive lift on this. I have a superset or a, a plyometric couple with this, an exercise that follows it closely uh, we act as a superset and then I get in towards the bottom half of the workout I have a squat pattern of course lower body strength where would I be without some type of squat pattern I do some core activation or trunk uh, activation exercises here with this landmine rotation lift something that we came up with that we think is pretty cool uh, there's a balance element and a stick handling element in every workout so here it is at the end uh, doesn't mean it's not it's not the most important part but we like to kind of hide these at the end when you're a little bit fatigued now we ask you to bounce and stick handle and there's because it's in season there's an aerobic component so I'll do the power skater uh, for the the sets uh, that, that is set down below for sprints and recover and then of course we always finish our workouts with uh, some type of recovery or stretch pattern so that's kind of the secret sauce for us I mean the other thing we have is the reps and the sets and the way we manipulate those things but this is kind of the pattern we'll use for at least the lower body strength to kind of give us an advantage over other programs that are out there in the marketplace hope you enjoy this video I hope you have fun using Hockey OT.